What's up, guys? Welcome back to PJ Pop Culture. It's your host, Patrick, here, and it is the week after Memorial Day weekend. I took a little time off uh, just to kind of recuperate and chill, I guess. Uh, so we're back at it with the videos this week. Um, and about a week ago on my Instagram, um, at PJ Pop Culture on Instagram, uh, I teased a Spawn figure that I picked up uh, from All Seas Collectibles. And I'd like to open it up for you guys and show you the detail on it. Uh, and then I also have um, a couple mystery mini boxes to open. And then I finally, finally found the Marvel Studios Pint Size Heroes. Uh, they've been out for a while now, but I haven't found any. So uh, I found two, three, six of them at a Walmart in um, Castle Rock, Colorado. And that's the first time I've ever seen them. So um, if you're unaware, right here in this case uh, behind me is my Pine Size Heroes collection. Um, pretty extensive, and I'm excited to add to it. So... Um, we're going to do that, but first we'll show off the Spawn figure. So, I got this from All Seas Collectibles. This is uh, Medieval Spawn. And what is this from? What year is this? This is from uh, 2001, the Series 20 Classic 2. Um, so... Yeah, I couldn't pass on this guy. The detail on this guy is phenomenal, which you're about to see. And also, I had a bunch of Spawn characters growing up as a younger feller. And uh, this is one of them that I managed to, to maintain and keep. This is Zombie Spawn. And he's got a lot of good detail as well. I mean, he's got the chainsaw hand. His... Uh, Gun is very detailed. The cloth, I like the cloth, loin cloth, the the boots, the shotgun. I mean, look at that. That's pretty darn detailed. And it goes in his little holster. Plus the sword. I mean, this spawn is pretty darn dope. So I'm very happy with this. And I thought, well, what better to add to it than the medieval spawn? And I know some of you collectors out there might be freaking out that I'm about to do this. But I am going to open this up and uh, just kind of show it off. I feel like it's too cool to not pose and do, uh, you know, photography with and things like that. Just because this thing is probably one of the most detailed figures I've seen in a long time um so let's crack this bad boy open and show him off um i think before we do that though because this is going to be an epic box opening let's do the uh pint size hero crack opens real quick and then at the end we'll open up the two mystery minis so these pint size heroes are from the 10 year anniversary of Marvel Studios. These came out last year. Let me open this up and flatten it out and I'll show you guys the figures you can get. I've gotten pretty good at, you know, filling these packages out so that I don't get duplicates and each one has a fairly specific shape. so pretty easy to pick them out so you don't you know get duplicates or anything but it comes with Captain America, Hulk, Thor Ragnarok, Loki, War Machine. It's either War Machine or it's Mark II Iron Man. Comes with Ant-Man, Black Widow, Doctor Strange, Shuri, Thanos, Red Skull, and Hela. So open this up and the first one we got which I'm very excited to add to because I do not have one. But it is Pint Size Hero Loki. And if you look here, he's got the uh, staff with the Mind Stone in it from Avengers. 
So really excited to add this. So there's one. Next one up here. We got, oh nice. Also really wanted this one. This is the uh, Doctor Strange with his cape and yep, he even has the Eye of Agamotto on, AKA the Time Stone. So that's pretty cool. We've got a little gray hairs. That's awesome. Okay. Next one up, we got. Um, yeah, I'm going to say this is not War Machine. I'm going to say this is Mark II Iron Man, which is still cool as shit. That's dope. So, Mark II Iron Man. Three down, three to go. What do we got? Next one, cool. Got a Hulk. This is the first Hulk of the Pine Sized Heroes. So pretty much all of these are, you know, limited. Not limited, but they didn't release anything like this prior. Um, they did do another Red Skull earlier. And they have a different Captain America. But uh, a lot of these characters are new to the Pine Sized Heroes. And this is also one I really wanted Check this out. This is the Hella, and just her little crown thing alone is cool. So there's Hella. That's awesome. That's five. Last one. Who did we get? Nice. We got an Ant Man. Also super cool. And these are going to go super, super well with the rest of the set. Uh, I'll show that off at the end of the video as well. But there's the Ant-Man. You can even see his eyes through his lenses. Yeah. I'm happy. Six down, six to go with those. Almost, you know, full set. Just like that. Boom. All right. So... Saw the beautiful pine sized heroes. Let's get on to medieval spot. All right, here it is. In all its glory. Try and show you guys this without the glare. So, I knock shit everywhere. There's a spawn. You can see all the details of arrows and the shield, and blood on the axe rope this thing is awesome let's check out the other side so in this series there's the medieval spawn there's the clown four which they did have i thought about getting this one just because the detail is so awesome with uh with the clown there i mean that's pretty dope pretty dope and they got violator spawn and then uh who's this this is Domina, and then of course Overkill. All of them are cool. They didn't have these guys, but uh, they did have these two. So I snagged the only medieval spawn I had. Uh, also, back in the day, they had all kinds of other stuff: the Terminator, Candyman. Um, was that the Blair Witch? Must be. They had the Army of Darkness. All kinds of stuff. Jaws. And then of course McFarland does his does his uh, sports figs. Metallic. I think he did Kiss as well. So let's crack this bad boy open. Hear the cries of a thousand collectors across the land. Rip into the dark. Oh man. I think my buddy Matt might be cringing a little bit now too. Holy. Holy. We're going full open. 
off card. This is it. Okay. There it is. Open. Now you can really see the detail from the. Uh, yeah, we got the chain, skulls, got this chain, the axe, the legs, the shield, there's gauntlets. This thing is super, super badass and I cannot wait to take some photos with it. Well, let's get it out of the box and I'll show you guys some more. Taking them out here, doing, undoing the twisties. I'm super stoked to open this. This is by far one of my favorite series in comic book history. And I just can't, can't get over the detail on these action figures man it's just it's crazy another one behind his cape here to hold his axe in place i mean even posing these guys in the packages is badass this guy is cool so here he is just full badassery we look at the chain the the ropes even if you look back here wow that can take it all the way off if you want but he's got like let's see if I can show you guys a couple skulls on his belt I mean this guy is badass Trophies. Check that out, man. And that's just the figure. Get the shield out of here. And I was thinking with this, you know, I could do some posing with zombie spawns and battle scenes, stuff like that. But look at this. The shield. Got arrows sticking out of it. Blood splatter. This guy's cool. This is probably one of the coolest action figures I have ever owned. I don't even know how to pose it just yet. Let's see. Let's see if it gives us any ideas. Yeah, put the shield right there. Like so. Let's check this out. Let's check it out. I'm excited. We'll put the uh, shield here. Maybe. This is a uh, pretty old toy if you think about it. Shit, yeah, I already. I already got to fucking glue it, man. Look at arrows came right off. It's a, uh, it's Jeff definitely delicate. Some of the plastics a little harder over the years. And I don't want to just like pop it on there and then I have a busted shield. Shit, man! There goes the other arrow. So word of, word of caution, guys. I'm just going to take them all off for now. Those little arrows. Very, very thin plastic. You can see the little spots they go on. So I'm going to have to glue those back on. But if you find one, be careful. Because those little bastards are not very thick. They really just snapped right off, so no real effort required. And I can't get that shield on to save my life. Let's see here. There we go. 
All right. So there he is with the shield. I might move it, I don't know, put it in a different spot maybe. Because surprisingly, yeah, there's no uh, no elbow articulation on that arm. There is uh, none on either arm, so no, no elbow articulation, a little bit of knee. Check out his, I don't know if you can see that right there. His little knee pad is a skull demon face. That's dope. I mean, everything on here is super badass. You just got to be careful with those small pieces. But look at the deeds, man. Face. It's crazy. Loving this thing. I'll get those, uh, get those pieces re-secured on that shield and, uh, get it posed up a little different. And then, uh, we'll do some photo shoots to show you guys on the Instagram. Again, follow on Instagram, uh, it's PJ Pop Culture at Instagram, or at PJ Pop Culture. Um, I do daily posts on there. And I'll post the photos from this shoot and things like that. But I'm also going to start doing the giveaways on there as well as the as the YouTube. So follow along, guys. Like and subscribe. Get your free stuff. And you get to check out some more behind-the-scenes exclusive stuff. But, I mean, you got Medieval Spawn, Zombie Spawn. This could be an epic battle and a great story to tell. So... Looking forward to that. That's to come down the line. And as promised, guys, I have two more mystery minis or mystery packs to open. One, we got the Walmart exclusive in-game mystery mini. This, uh, you have a chance for the Black Widow in the quantum suit, the Hulk in the quantum suit. And it looks like uh, Unmasked Ronin. So let's just take a look at those. Let's see if it unblurs. Yeah, those are your. Come on, camera. Those are your exclusives right there. Fix it. Yeah, I'm sorry about the blur, guys. But let's see what we get. Hopefully, it's something good. And I think, uh, you know, being it's, uh, we just had our Memorial Day, all that good stuff. I think it's time we do another giveaway here on PJ Pop Culture YouTube. Let's see what we get first, and then we'll go ahead and announce that. Um, thanks again for all you guys who have subscribed and help, uh, help PJ Pop Culture grow. I really do appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to a lot of giveaways and a lot more content and getting better at the content I put out. Because I literally just started doing this um, in November. So my hobby has taken off. And we got Professor Hulk in his purple suit before snapping the gauntlet. So um, I actually already have this one in my collection. So I think let's make it a giveaway, guys. Like and subscribe to PJ Pop Culture. So like this video and subscribe. And then I want you to comment your favorite version of the Incredible Hulk, whether it's regular Hulk, if it's, uh, you know, Professor Hulk, if it's uh, World War Hulk, if it's World Breaker Hulk, Red Hulk, Gray Hulk, I don't care. Tell me your favorite Hulk in the comments below and like and subscribe here on YouTube. And one lucky winner is going to get this.
beautiful Professor Hulk mystery mini from Avengers Endgame. And then the last one I wanted to open for you guys. This is from the Into the Spider-Verse Spider-Man movie. Um, I do collect mystery minis. I have quite quite a few. Um, this will be my first one from this series. And I'm really just looking for that Spider-Ham. I do have a regular comic book, Miles Morales. So this one with the, the movie logo and stuff might be cool. And... Spider-Man Noir and stuff like that, but mainly I'm hoping to get Spider-Ham on this one. But this will be the first of that series, and I'll show you here. I'm sorry, I forgot to show you guys. Here's who you can get with these. So you got uh, Costume Miles Morales, you got Prowler, Spider-Man Noir, uh, Peter B. Parker, Spider-Ham, Kingpin, Scorpion, um... Spider from the the robot. I can never remember that one. Miles Morales and Green Goblin and yeah, Spider Gwen. So that's who you can get. And again, I'm really hoping for that Spider Ham because it makes me want to go ham. So let's see if we got lucky. I kind of based my pick off of the weight, thinking it was the lighter box. Might be the Spider Ham. Oh. It was way off. Still pretty cool. It's uh, Spider-Man Noir. He's got his pistol. This is actually a lot cooler than he is um, on the box. So the picture here, you guys can see it, uh, does not do it justice. Not a... Not at all. This is actually way cooler than I thought it was going to be. So, I'm actually pretty happy to get this guy. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to still getting that spider hand, though. But he's got pretty good detail from his buckle and the silver on the jacket, goggles. It'd be cool if he had his hat on. But I'll take it. So, we got Spider-Man Noir. And then, again, our free giveaway the professor hulk i'm sure if you're a good enough artist you could even add your own gauntlet on there right before he snaps so that's it guys thanks for tuning in i hope you appreciated the the episode today i hope you had a wonderful and happy memorial day thank you to all our veterans out there for for all their sacrifices throughout all the all the years uh and a special thank you to my grandpa Dwayne, who is no longer with us but Thank you for your service in World War II, sir. I appreciate that as well. So um, thanks again for tuning in, guys. This is PJ Pop Culture, and we'll see you next time.